back now to that investigation in Highlands Ranch. Three days after five law enforcement officers came under fire, Deputy Zachary Parrish's life was taken. And tonight we are hearing from a man who said that he spent years fearing that suspected shooter. And Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski is digging into the shooter's past. And Tony, you talked with a former classmate. Yeah, Jacqueline Teresa, a very, very informative conversation. One of his former classmates described Matthew Real as a guy who fed on conflict, a person who went to parties in college and picked fights and usually got beat up. Even though Matthew Real is now dead, his former classmate is still too scared to talk on camera about what he called years of harassment. The classmate who didn't want to use his name told us he's been looking over his shoulder for years, ever since he alerted police at the University of Wyoming about what he called Matt Reel's unhinged and dangerous behavior. Even after Reel moved to Colorado, he continued to antagonize the campus on Facebook. In recent months, his writings frightened people at the university so much that police there increased patrols and alerted police in Lone Tree where Reel's parents live about those concerns. Reel's family told campus police he was off his medication for mental illness and he had a manic breakdown several months ago. The former classmate we spoke to today said he understands why there are so many questions about why Reel wasn't stopped. He also said his heart goes out to the victims and that the New Year's Eve violence could not have been prevented. Now, Real's former law school classmate told us he alerted as many law enforcement agencies as he could find to warn them about Matthew Real. Now, we are still working on much of the information, trying to connect some dots on the timeline there. We are told that that probably will not come out until after the funeral on Friday. All right. All right. No, you've been keeping an eye on it. Thanks, Tony. At last check, Douglas County Deputy Jeff Pelly is still in the hospital recovering tonight. He was one of the officers shot during this tragic ambush. His father is Boulder County Sheriff Joe Pelly, who tells the Boulder Daily Camera that his son is still in pain, but did get up and walk around the ICU. The sheriff also said the bullet missed his son's heart by an inch. We are all wishing him the very best. Deputy Zachary Parrish will be laid to rest Friday. We were there today as the Douglas County Color Guard held a ceremony for the changing of the flags. To show honor and respect, that flag will be draped over the deputy's casket as he is being remembered. And a lot of you are wondering how you can help the Parrish family. We've got some ways for you. The Cherry Hills Community Church is asking people not to call there, but instead you can drop off flowers at the church tomorrow between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And if you'd like to make a monetary donation, you can support Deputy Parrish's family by donating to the Douglas County Sheriff's Office Fallen Officers Fund. We've got that link up on your screen, so take a look at that. The Sheriff's Office says they've been overwhelmed with food donations and right now they're not accepting any more of those. Our newsroom, of course, is working around the clock for you, getting the latest details as this investigation unfolds. You can always keep an eye on the Denver 7 app if you want to stay up to date.